Hey guys, so what I'm going to do now is we're just going to do a short video about adding and subtracting decimal numbers. Now, adding and subtracting decimal numbers is very straightforward. There's really only one rule that you need to follow. So let's see what that rule is. Rule one, line up the decimals. Now, put zeros in place of any missing numbers. And I'll show you what that means. And then finally, add or subtract. Keep the decimal. It never moves, so we keep it in the same space that where it was in the beginning. Okay, so say for example, you have 0 0.1234 plus 2.4321. Who cares, right? So we're adding. There are clearly decimal numbers. Actually, let's just move, remove a few of these places so that you can see the other part. So we've noticed that the decimals are lined up in a line here. They have to be in that line. You cannot have them be in a different order. So you can't, don't worry about lining up the numbers, line up the decimal places. Now, notice here that I have a blank spot. Well, I need to use that spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill it in with zeros. It doesn't change the value of the number to put in more zeros at the end. It makes no difference. And then simply add. 4 plus 0 is 4. 3 plus 0 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. The decimal stays in the same place in your answer as it was in the beginning. Zero plus two is two. So there's your completed answer with your decimal in it. Okay? Now, subtraction, same idea, but you just need to make sure that you borrow if, where you need to. So say we have 5.021 minus 0 0.0. 3, 5, just to get some good borrowing going on in here, okay? Now, so we're subtracting. Notice how the decimals are lined up in a straight line, where they have to be. You can even put the decimal in your answer if you want to so that you don't forget it. It's a very, the most common mistake is simply forgetting it. Well, 1 minus 5, I can't do 1 minus 5, so I'll borrow 1 from the, from the 20s column, so that turns that 1 into an 11. 11 minus 5 is 6. 1 minus 3, I can't do. I can't borrow from a 0, so I have to go all the way over here, borrow 1 from the, from the 5, which turns that into a 10. So now I can borrow 1 from it. So I had to go borrow all the way across, but don't forget those, don't just skip those zeros as you go. 11 minus 3, <clears throat> excuse me, is 8. 9 minus nothing is 9. 4 minus nothing is 4. So my completed answer 4.986. So tomorrow in class, we'll practice some of these just using the numbers from your homework, from your, the, from your new electronic book. Hopefully you've all signed in just so that you can have that resource available to you. Thanks. Bye.